Hello YouTube, and thanks for tuning in to Spankle Vision. I'm Spankle Chank, and we're back with another episode of Minecraft Tutorials. And we're going to do a tank today. I got several requests to do a tank. I've been working on it. Um, really trying to get it right for the, the scale of the Minecraft characters, which was kind of difficult. But I'm going to show you how to make this tank here. Which I think turned out pretty well. So the best way to go about it is get yourself some spruce slabs. We're going to need black wool and green wool and brown wool and you're going to need buttons, stone buttons will work and you're going to require vineage and it's going to take a ladder as well and you're going to need a dispenser and iron blocks. Actually, yep, that'll work for now. So to start it, you're just gonna do a five by seven green block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're gonna do it five wide. Actually, I'm gonna pick up myself up a, a uh, potion of swiftness here. Speed up the process. get juiced up all right you want to make this four high this is just the fastest way to do it so we don't have to waste a bunch of time doing a brown block and a green block I'll show you later how we'll fill it all in and this is a pretty like I said quick and easy build down on the side and you're gonna bring it out one on the back here as you can see you're gonna go just like that and just like that pretty much the same thing um, for the front here except not um, actually it is pretty much the same yeah, it's the same front and back, so yeah, this is how tanks look. Am I getting that right? Oh. I made it and I can't even remember how now. And there you go, that's the look you want. Just like that, that's what you start with. And you're gonna lay your tracks down. Actually, before you do that, go ahead and get these half slabs. It makes it a lot easier to get those. Put your spruce slabs under there. Now you can see what the process we're getting here. And then break your tires put your buttons on, that's the tracks, you know, that's pretty much the realest I could make tracks look. Like I said, it's kind of tough to make a tank that looks really nice, uh, at least to the scale of Minecraft people. I mean, you could set out and make a crazy, epic mega build, but I mean, you know, with super detail, but if you want to get it just right, I mean, this is a pretty, uh, pretty good tank example here when it's all said and done. You know, you just go around. This is just like the tedious work. We can knock it out first. Okay. Now we're already almost up to par with this one over here. And then you just bring some more green wool out. Oops. Just put it. Oop. Oh, there you go. Just basically, you're just bringing it in one all the way around oh no not all the way around you wanna 
knock off those back two, I believe. I thought it was three. Yeah. Oh, you know what's happening. There we go. Is that right? No. It needs to be like that. There we go. That's what I was doing wrong. See, even I get confused sometimes. You just gotta look at it. Something is not right. Alright, sorry about that technical difficulty there. I had to sleep. Man, I got interference here and I lost my place. Alright, so you should be right here. As of right now, it's the head of the cannon is four. So you'll have this space back here. You're gonna bring it out. Five, six from the the base of this. Two, three, four, five, six. And then lay your dispenser. That's like the end of the cannon, you know? And then knock a hole here for the hatch we're gonna put in, and then put another spruce slab right there and this is where you're gonna need to bring in this works best on plastic pack just because it looks um, oops you don't even need iron that's right you just use a dispenser it looks more like I don't know like something that would be on a tank you know it's like metally kind of you know oops did that wrong like I said this is you see how, you know, top of dispenser usually looks like stone. I mean, I guess that could work, but maybe you could put buttons if you don't have the plastic pack or, you know, whatever really works for you. Put the ladder on the back of the tank right there. And it's looking like we're about to get inside of it. Oh, we got to fix. Oh, wait. Go ahead and get a trap door, some levers. And we're gonna get brown wool back in here. And I like to put a lever here because they have like comm antennas, you know, communication antennas on the tanks. And we're gonna get the hatch there. And go ahead and put a button here. That way when you get up here, you can get in, you know what I mean? And we'll decorate the inside of the man. I'll show you how I did the other one. To save time, I'll just go show you the inside of this other tank, and uh, you know, you'll you'll see how easy it is to decorate the inside just to give you some ideas. And you know, this is I'm just doing like a camo pattern. You know, brown and green. It's like the forest. You know, and you can. You know, however you see fit to do it, you can toss more brown in this if you want. It's just however you want to make your tank look. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it just you know, the real camouflage isn't perfect. It's just blotched on there, just basically like that. And let me load that in there. Um, now here's where you get the vines. You know, of course, and all that good stuff. Fill that in. Just for looks, all right. You know, maybe throw a vine or two on up here. And, you know, not all over it, cause like in the battlefield, you know, they always. I'm sure you've seen like those oh, the old war videos. You know, like the they'll cover them up with trees and fallen branches or whatever. So you can't see them if you look them with your binoculars or whatever, or looking through the scope. You know, but. Now they just got like thermo cams, so you can't even escape that, you know, unless they got like stealth technology on. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Look at that. Threw up a tank real quick. Oops. Check out the inside of this one. 
just so you can see what I did you know you come into the hatch and like I said it works best on plastic because this looks more like computers you know I just do some computers down do a chair in I put the item frames with like maps so it looks like they were looking at like a map screen and then that's like the main screen maybe that's the their viewfinder or something back here like a little personnel carrier you know those look like maybe ammo crates or something and they got a little furnace or maybe it's a comm thing I don't know you know you don't have to go elaborate and that, that's it I thought it turned out epic and uh, hopefully this will give you guys an idea of how to make an epic tank on your uh, modern city minecraft server or any kind of war server you're doing or military server that's what I got the request for and uh, coming soon I'll be doing the jet fighter back there so uh, thanks for watching everybody and uh, we'll see you next time on Spankle Vision